How many different ways can five different door prizes be distributed among five people? Let's talk about permutations here. We have five different door prizes and five people. So let's kind of talk about the scenario here to get the math for it. Each person will get one door prize. There's an even amount for both. That's key for this problem here. Our first person they can choose one of five different door prizes. So there's five options for the first person. The second person is after the first person and there are four door prizes left because the first person already took the first door prize. So we have four here. The third person, Well, the third person is, well, third one. First and second have already picked door prizes, so there are three door prizes left for them to pick from. The fourth person comes in, and there's only two prizes left. And lastly, the fifth person doesn't have a choice and is stuck with whatever prize is left over the last one. And so, First person has five options, second person four options, third person three options, fourth person two options, fifth person one option. We end up multiplying this out. Five times four times three times two times one, which is actually the same thing as a five factorial. Five factorial takes the first number that we have, the five, and we're multiplying each integer on the way down to one. So 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 comes out to be, well, 5 times 4 is, what is that, 20, times 3 is 60, times 2 is 120, times 1 is 120. So there's 120 different ways that five door prizes can be distributed amongst five people. I hope you learned something here about factorial and permutations, and as always, thanks for watching.